Hi there, Joey from DayJobHacks.com. Today I'm gonna to talk about how to build a sales funnel for affiliate marketing and monetizing it with ClickBank products. Okay, so today let's talk about sales funnels as an affiliate marketer. We as affiliates oftentimes have challenges when it comes to setting up sales funnels because we don't have full control of the actual sales page. But there are many advantages for affiliates like ourselves to build sales funnels in our daily campaigns because it gives us the ability to do many, many things, okay? So I'm gonna go in this video, I'm gonna show an example of a sales funnel for affiliate marketing. I'm also going to show you how to get the best ClickBank product for your sales funnel and how to combine it all together so that you have an effective funnel that is all properly tracked. Now, before I do that and get into the computer, please subscribe to this channel. I do a ton of videos about affiliate marketing. I talk about traffic generation, conversions, everything you need to know about CPA affiliate marketing and so much more. So subscribe, click the little button right here that you'll see in the video, click subscribe, click the little bell icon. And now that we have that out of the way, let's talk about sales funnels. First of all, why do you want to have a sales funnel as an affiliate marketer? Well, there's a few great advantages and let me talk about the top three. The first one is it improves the ability to track certain things with traffic pixels, okay? Now, if, you, if that's a little too far ahead, I, I get it. Some people don't know what I mean by a pixel, but let's talk about Facebook pixel, for example. Um, as you give more data to this little piece of code that Facebook gives you to put on your website, Facebook is now able to give you visitors, when you go buy ads from Facebook, the data that the, the pixel has collected from your website um, allows you to build audiences and get um, better conversion rates basically because Facebook has the ability to know who visited your website and can track those people to their own users, therefore showing your ads to the most likely people that are going to convert. The only way to do that is if you have the pixel installed on your website or in your sales funnel, okay? So as an affiliate, we have a very good advantage when we use the pixels the way they're intended to be used. Google also has a great pixel for Google search ads. You can do retargeting, all of that stuff. So for example, if you send someone to a squeeze page, which we're gonna talk about here in a second, I'm gonna show you an example, and you have the pixel on there, and then they enter an email or they go to the next step in your funnel, this will tell the pixel that they went to the next step and now when you set up ads next time, you might wanna just retarget the people that took action on the first page. That is all great stuff to do. That is why we use funnels, okay? Second reason we use funnels is because it allows us to build our own list. I talk about this all the time as an affiliate. We need to have something at the end of the day that we own and that is your affiliate marketing list, your email list, whatever, your push subscribers, you're collecting push subscribers in your funnel, you're collecting emails, all of that I talk about on this channel. Check out other videos, again, subscribe so you get all those videos as well. But I'm not gonna go into too much depth on how to build that list, but I am gonna show you an example here in a second about a funnel that will help you build a list. So you essentially own a part of your business at the end of the day. Number three, the reason we create funnels is to bypass some of the ad networks aggressive policies. So what I mean by that is we are going to try and not get banned on Facebook, on Google, on Bing, all these other places that will ban you for being aggressive in your advertising tactics and usually aggressive tactics come with CPA affiliate marketing. We as CPA affiliates, we need to see results now. We need to see results on our ad spend or else it kind of, well, first of all, it discourages us, but at the same time, we need to see profits immediately. So we're very aggressive in our advertising and that is what makes us successful, okay? That's what makes us really good. But at the same time, we have to be careful not to get banned on Facebook banned on Google, blah, 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 okay? So by using a, an initial lead capture form, this helps us by getting the, the ad networks to see our lead capture, we're collecting the lead, doing all that fun, nice stuff. And then in the back end, we're sending emails to these offers, to these advertorials, listicles, all this other stuff later. But first we're catching that lead compliantly because if you've been running any Facebook ads lately, then you know that they are just banning everything. Even white hat campaigns are getting banned um, just instantly. If you use the wrong text, if you use an image that looks somewhat 
you know, suspicious. If you log in from a different IP than you're supposed to, all of these things cause you to get your account banned. And needless to say, you don't need to be sending traffic to an aggressive advertorial either because you're going to also get banned. So this is why we use sales funnels. Okay, so those are the three reasons we use them. Now let's show an example of how I would run a ClickBank offer on say a place like Facebook. Now, first, let me just do a disclaimer here. Some of the methods and tactics I describe on this channel and in this video may be against ad network terms. Don't ever just rely on what I tell you about what these places allow. Always read their terms of service. Don't blame me if you lose your ad account, okay? Now, let's move forward. Okay, so this is from a previous presentation I did, but this is the funnel I'm talking about here. It's a typical funnel where we are getting traffic to what we call a lead capture page right here. That is the lead capture page, which we're going to build quickly using a tool. I'm gonna to show you how to do that really fast. And then we send the traffic after they've entered their email to a tripwire offer. In this case, we're going to use an affiliate offer which will be a video sales letter, okay? Now, at the same time, if you wanna be more compliant, you don't have to put a tripwire offer here. You can just tell people to go check their email at which point you give them that offer, okay? But here, we're gonna do a lead capture, tripwire, and then we're gonna have the delivery in the back end, which constantly sends messages over and over and over to our audience, okay? So in this process, we are also placing our Facebook pixel or a Google pixel or whatever traffic source we wanna use. We're gonna be placing that pixel on our lead capture page, on our tripwire page if we can unless we're direct linking to a, an affiliate offer um, and then in the end uh, we, we just basically want to track people clicking through and becoming a lead on our form and then going to the offer so generally speaking I will track this area right here and I want to make sure that if I'm setting up Facebook ads or if I'm setting up other ads and retargeting people who haven't converted on the tripwire that I'm retargeting these people that came through the lead capture. I can also retarget people that have just arrived and did not become a lead yet. However, I wanna do that later. Um, but there's so many different ways to do this. I'm not gonna get into that retargeting stuff right now, but that is the purpose that we have of building these funnels, okay? So now let's get out of here and let's just go and talk about ClickBank for a second. Now, let, like I said, diet is one of those industries that everybody likes. So what I would do is come in here and I wanna find the hottest diet We'll say diet supplements because diet supplements are one of the most sensitive areas when it comes to getting approved on Facebook, especially for affiliate marketers. If you're a product owner, obviously maybe you have ways of getting past that, but um, let's just talk about that for a second. So if I go to health and fitness here, um, there is a section in dietary supplements here. And if I sort by gravity, I can see which products are the top for affiliates right here, okay? So this one here, this is insane gravity. 812 for a gravity is very good. Um, that means this, this thing is converting like mad, and I'm sure it is a video sales letter. Let's just check. <clears throat> Yes, okay, so it is a video sales letter. So I'm gonna use this as the strategy here. I am going to offer people a free guide as well as access to a free video, which is going to be this video, which is the sales video for research, okay? So to do that, let's just say you already know how to build a domain, you already know how to set up WordPress, then next step, if you, oh, by the way, if you don't know how to do that, go to powerhouseaffiliate.com slash action dash plan. We have it all laid out step by step by step, how to set up the tracking, how to set up your, your blog, everything, okay? Now that you've done that, you're going to need a tool to build your squeeze page and you need to integrate that with your autoresponder because we are going to build an email list here. That is part of our funnel and that is the intent of this video to show you how to do that. So the tools you're going to need are Optimize Press, is which, uh, the tool I use, Optimize Press. Um, if you want to get that through my affiliate link, go to dayjobhacks.com slash Optimize Press. You will be supporting my channel and you'll also be getting an excellent product. The other product you will need is Aweber. Again, dayjobhacks.com slash Aweber. You will get a free month by going through that link. And again, I am an affiliate for them, but they are great products and I use them every single day in my business. So again, day job, uh, sorry, uh, Optimize Press and Aweber are the two products I'm gonna be using here, assuming you already have your website set up. So now, what I wanna do is I wanna offer somebody something on the front end. So what I wanna do once I have Optimize Press installed is create a new page. It is already integrated now with Aweber where I've created my list. And <clears throat> now what I wanna basically do 
is just set up a squeeze page and they have a ton of templates in here, okay? You can choose from whatever template you want. They have many different niches, but let's just assume I'm in the diet niche, which I am here in this example. And here's a perfect example of one of their templates built for the diet niche. Use this template. We're going to call it Resurge, okay? Because that is the offer we plan to promote on this page. Now what we want to do is we want to offer a freebie. This is the opt-in bait. This is part of our funnel. We need to give somebody something so they enter their email here. And once we send traffic, which I'll talk about here shortly, um, <clears throat> we want people to arrive here and sign up and go through our email capture here, okay? So I'm not going to do too many changes here because it takes too much time in these videos. But basically what I would offer here is a free guide and a free video. So how do I give them a free guide? And how do I give them a free video, okay? So this is what I'm going to do here. I'm gonna put a headline here, like sign up here to get a free guide, we'll say, whatever. Uh, like I'm not gonna get into too much of the marketing side of this right now. Sign up here to get a free guide and watch our free video, okay? So this is what we're doing here. Now, obviously, I would put some real effort into this and test and split test and do all that kind of fun stuff, of course. But right now, we just want to set this up. So to set this up, I've shown this before. You basically click on here and you click on opt-in form and you integrate it right here, integration options, and you click that and you connect it to your Aweber account. Now, all of your emails coming in here are going to Aweber. Now, you want to give them something in that first email in Aweber. What I would do is give them a free guide and to get a free guide, it's very easy to do. Go to dayjobhacks.com slash PLR. You will come to this site here and basically you can download unlimited eBooks, uh, videos, courses, all of that stuff, and you can use them in your own marketing. So let's say I want to give them a free keto guide, whatever it is on my uh, squeeze page. I would type in keto in here and you can see there are just a ton of products here that I can, can download, the Bulletproof Keto Diet. If I wanna go supplements, okay, diet or diet, just diet in general. If I click search, I'm gonna get a bunch of search results showing all of the different types of products I can literally buy for, a, a, I think it's like 30 bucks for the whole membership or no, not even that, it's probably like 20 bucks. I don't even know how much it costs here. But basically you can get eBooks on anything and now you can use these in your own promotions. You basically own the public label rights to it so you can do whatever you want. You can change them, you can add your own affiliate links inside these guides, which I do personally. I send the first email through Aweber giving them the guide, okay? So that is the first thing, once they get the guide. But as soon as they enter their email on this form, it's very important that I send them to a page afterwards. And this is the Tripwire product, okay? So now you can either do your own landing page right after they enter their email, which is a very good idea because then you can place the pixel onto that landing page, okay? So what I would do here is I would do a, a page, which I've already done, so I'm gonna show you. So what I'm gonna do, once they enter their email here, I edit the integration and I go through the steps and I choose the list. And there's gonna be a point where it asks me, where do I wanna send the user after they enter their email? So what I wanna do there is I wanna send them to a page that I own so that I can place my pixels on that page telling my traffic sources that I've collected a lead from this subscriber. So this is the type of person I want to target next time I run ads, okay? So I've created a really simple one-click page that I'm gonna send people to, which you can change and you can add also my recommendation, which is adding all of the, the, the disclaimers at the bottom saying, this is not Facebook, this is not endorsed by Facebook, this is an advertisement, blah, 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 blah. All those legal disclaimers at the bottom, okay? So here is an example of that page that you can, uh, sorry, uh, yeah, here's one. So it's just one drink that melts fat, so it's kind of a picture, but there's other ones I have here as well. So these are the pages, this is the page you're going to see after they've actually entered their email, okay? Here's another one um, as well. So it's a very quick page, there's not a lot of content, but basically you're just trying to get that pixel to fire telling the the network that you've got a lead okay so then they're here there's nothing for them to do except watch that video at which point it's going to send them directly to the offer 
which would be this link here that I cr uh, created from Resurge or Leptitox or any of these other products here that I want to promote. Basically, when they click through my, my page, they're going to go to that. Now, and a more, uh, I guess an even more advanced step here, if you want to get really serious, is you can go and where we had that landing page, um, we can actually get people to fire the pixel once they've clicked through that landing page. And to do that, you would need to use Google Tag Manager. Um, and so we would, if we wanted, we could say, okay, I want all of my people that arrive on this page to fire the pixel, but at the same time, I also wanna fire the pixel when they click watch video. So when they click watch video, again, you can tell Facebook or Google or Bing or whoever that that person converted to this stage, okay, in your funnel. And to do that again, use Google Tag Manager, go in there and set up a, a link click tag and, and then just put that on your page here. You can install Google Analytics right in WordPress using their plugin. Again, I'm not gonna go into that detail right now, but that is a more advanced metric that you can start really getting into your funnels and start as an affiliate, taking advantage of certain actions users take. Now, lastly, before we uh, end this video, um, there's one more step that you can do here that really uh, uh, advanced affiliates are doing and they are, they are either contacting the uh, offer owners. So in this case, you could contact Research. There's a way to do that through here. They have an affiliate channel here that you can click on Research Affiliates. Find yourself an affiliate manager who will place your pixel also on the sales page or on the thank you page after the person has actually purchased the product. This is getting super um, aggressive in your tracking, but this is how we do it and that is what you wanna do. Um, the same method and theory applies to if you're working on a CPA network, you can go into some CPA networks that use Cake or um, Everflow tracking technologies where they have events set up already for you. So you can just put your pixels in those events spots. So it says, for example, if you're running a finance offer and you want people that finish the finance form up to a certain page in the form, they can fire that event for you and then you can start targeting those higher quality visitors to your funnels, okay? So as an affiliate marketer, we have many opportunities here to build an actual sales funnel. It is not hard to do using tools like Optimize Press and uh, Amember. Um, you don't need to uh, you know, invest in these big high-tech uh, overpriced softwares like ClickFunnels. You can actually just do it using uh, tools like this and you'll have full ownership of the funnel and you have full ownership of where you can place your pixels. And then the only next step is that you make good relationships with the advertisers or the product owners so you can get your pixels on those pages as well because everything about the funnel is about tracking every little step along the way. Now, if you want some more advanced tracking tutorials and all of that other stuff, stay tuned to this channel, subscribe, or go to powerhouseaffiliate.com for our premium training. And thank you for watching. Hopefully that was a little help in understanding sales funnels for affiliate marketers.